Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you're watching this. It is Monday, September 30th, at least it is for me, probably isn't for you because I upload a couple days later. Um, we are back at it again. We took a little bit of a break. The boys were out of school because of the hurricane. Um, luckily, hurricane update, we were not affected personally. I'm a little bit more inland than the coastal people that unfortunately did get affected uh, tremendously. So I hope if you were in the path of the storm or, you know, even in the northern states like Tennessee and the Carolinas, hopefully everyone is okay and safe. Um, it's just so devastating to see, especially like just seeing all of the flooding and the damaging and, you know, all of the, the tragedy that's gone on since this hurricane. Um, it breaks my heart. But luckily, everyone is safe. Um, my grandparents, they live off the coast um, and they luckily are on like the third floor of a condo, but they got flooded. So both of their cars were totaled, um, but they're now staying with my dad. Luckily, every, everyone's okay. That's, I mean, that's all that really matters is that everyone is okay. Um, it's going to be a lot of rebuilding and cleanup and, you know, the community coming together and supporting one another. I personally have a bunch of clothes that I'm going to donate to those in need um, and get some food and other supplies, if possible, to help some of the people that were affected as well. Um, but update is we're okay. Now on to DoorDash topic. I have an order. Well, not through DoorDash, actually. It's an Uber Eats order, but it's for 0.9 miles um, for $6. It's my first order of the day. It is only 9.20. So it's from a place called Sunrise Energize, which is like, they sell like protein waffles and smoothies and all of those kinds of things. So we're gonna go pick up that order. Um, again, my heart goes out to those that were affected and I'm going to try and do all that I can possibly do to help those, you know, nearby in my community, including, you know, just my grandparents as well. But, um, fortunately they didn't lose too much besides their cars, at least to my knowledge from what I've been apprised on and talked to my grandparents about. But, um, if you can help you know, see see what things you can do, even if it's a small donation, even if it's, you know, sending things that, if you're in the area, you know, sending things that you're not currently using to help those in need, you know, people need blankets and uh, food and, you know, disinfectant wipes and all of those things, um, just see what you can do to reach out and help those that are, you know, needing the help because, if you were in that position, you know, you would hope that people would rally together and help you too. But anyways, on a different note, let's go get this order and start our day. Hi. All right, thank you. All right, so we actually are not taking that last order that I mentioned because she said it was going to take a little bit over 10 minutes. She hadn't started on the order yet. There was like three waffles in there and I got a better order or an order that should be ready from Duncan for from um, DoorDash for $9, I believe in 50 cents. I'll put it up here um, for like four point something miles. It's two orders, but usually Duncan has their stuff ready and it won't take too long. And it's literally right across the street from the other place that I went to. So let's go pick up this order. So we got our orders. They were pretty much ready to go. She was just bagging up the last one. That's how I like it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll wait, obviously, if it's gonna be like, you know, a five to five-ish minute wait, that's fine. But 
Um, the last location, it takes a while to make everything. It's just one person and she had to make like three waffles. Um, so I knew that was gonna take more than like the 10 minutes and it was only $6 so it wasn't really worth waiting for me especially since I did get another order and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna take this knowing that it's gonna be ready. Um, sometimes you have to kind of deduct that. Obviously, especially with DoorDash, you have like, you know, unassigned whatever, like a threshold. So don't try to do it too much with DoorDash, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, right? So anyways, fortunately this order was ready. We have all of our um, items. We're on our way to drop off the first one. It's only about three minutes away. So let's go drop off this order. All right, we just dropped off our first order. It was to a car, a car dealership. And this second order is to a vet's office and it's only three minutes away. So easy peasy order. Let's go drop off this second one. All right, we just got another order. It is for $7.50 for 3.6 miles from Walgreens. I was sitting outside of Panera, but I got this order. So we're gonna go head to Walgreens. Walgreens is on the left. We got our order from Walgreens and we are heading to go drop off this order. It's an alcohol order, so obviously it's a meet the customer, but it's only seven minutes away, so let's go drop it off. All right, we got another order. It's for Taco Bell for $7.13 for 4.9 miles. Let's go get it. All right, we are on our way to deliver this Taco Bell. Taco Bell took a um, little bit longer than I would like them to take, but it's okay. I saw it on my other apps on, didn't really get anything else. I just got a couple, oh, ad for a dollar fifty, whatever, something or another that Uber was trying to send me, which we're not gonna take. And um, let me turn my GPS down. They just tried to send me like an eight dollar one for like eight point something miles on top of that and obviously not gonna accept that one either so we're gonna go drop this off it says it's about nine minutes away from right here it's currently 10 27 and i think actually this order for uber gets me to my like 100 points for gold to keep it for this month so we needed that um i feel like i haven't had that many uber orders this month and because usually I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Like, I usually always have enough by the end of the month. But, clearly, Uber has not been kind to me this month. And we needed some more. But this one should put me at the 100 points or whatever that it is. And we're good to go for next month. Or until the end of next month. Anyhow, I'm rambling. Let's go drop off this order. another order it's for eight dollars and 25 cents for 1.9 miles from Walgreens let's go pick up that order drop off this order I'm literally only like a minute away um, it's technically like an apartment complex but these apartments are cool because they're designed where like the there's a door down low like you don't have to climb any stairs but the stairs go like they're inside the apartment so the people have like a private staircase if that makes sense so that's always awesome um, let me see. Obviously it's a hand of customer because it's an alcohol order. But yeah, let's go drop off this order. All right, so we're still waiting on an order, but I picked up lunch because I was starting to get hungry. 
I got a new smoothie. No one suggested this. This was just me trying a different one. So this one is Paradise Point, which is just strawberry, banana, and pineapple. And it's actually really good. It's kind of a little bit more of a sweeter um, rendition on a regular strawberry banana, which is what I normally get. So definitely a good one. I usually save the receipts because on the bottom it's like you fill out the survey and you get, um, oh, we got an order. $7 for 2.9 miles from Dairy Queen. So we got an order. We're going to pick that one up. No Uber. Um, but so yeah, on the receipt it has it where like you get a, I don't know, I think it's like a $1.99 for a food item plus the smoothie. So I ended up paying like seven dollars and some odd change or whatever which is definitely a lot better than um you know like eleven dollars or something so that's what i usually do when i want to you know have something for lunch and i didn't get anything from the house it's i'll save those receipts for whenever i want to go get it anyhow just letting you guys know that fill out those receipts or check those receipts because sometimes places have some pretty good offers for you just filling out a survey Let's go pick up that Dairy Queen order. Thank you. All right, so we got our Dairy Queen order and I think they finally got bags because before they used to put like just things in the, what do you call those, cup holders? Like the, can't think today, the cardboard like cup holders. <laughs> and like put a sticker on top of it and then the food items they would just put in like one of the lunch sack kind of like paper bags and put a sticker on it but they've got like actual legit bags that seal now kind of like mcdonald's has which is good i like those a lot better um usually it's a lot more secure in my opinion plus like you know i don't know it's just all contained into a bag which is nice so you don't have to worry about you know holding multiple it's easier for me to carry you know easier for the customer to get their food i feel like i don't know that's just my opinion so definitely glad that they got it switched to bags but let's go drop off this order and hopefully get some more because it started slowing down there and now that it's almost lunchtime it's 11 39 so it's pretty much lunchtime we should see an uptick in orders hopefully so yeah let's go drop off this order We are definitely having a slow day so far today. I'm only at like 42 and it's 12.43. Um, I did have to stop into Verizon because I had to return like a phone accessory that we purchased about a month ago. And today was like the last day to return it within the 30 days. So <laughs> my fault for procrastinating, but um, got it done they were super busy in there because I guess there's like some sort of outage going right now going on right now with Verizon um but yeah got that done had to wait a little bit but got it done nonetheless I'm actually gonna go drive a little bit it's like seven minutes away from where I was at the Verizon um out of my way to try and see if I can get some more orders over there because I did have like my DoorDash and Uber Eats and all of that on while I was in there and I wasn't getting anything good. So we're gonna drive a little bit out of our normal zone. It's in the same zone, but on the left side of the zone <laughs> and see if we can get some orders over here. I've had some pretty good luck going in this area. Um, my phone is kind of shaky, I don't know why. I've had some luck recently going over by this area. So hopefully my luck hasn't run out and we get some good orders to kind of push us to at least get maybe 80 today. I don't know, I might be asking for a lot, but let's see. All right, we finally got an order. It is from Grubhub, our first Grubhub order of the day. Um, it is 13.9 miles for $18.63. So a little bit of mileage there, but I'm 12 minutes from the restaurant. Um, and then the other mileage and time is 8.3 miles to the restaurant and then the other mileage is just to the location but I was getting nothing else even going over by where I thought was gonna be a sweet spot 
I got nothing. Well, okay, I had one thing pop up that was like 20 miles for um, $20 or something like that, or $18 for 20 miles, something of that sort from um, Uber Eats, but it wasn't anything that I would have taken. So we took this order. Hopefully they should have it ready because it's gonna take me 12 minutes to get there. Um, I think I said it's from Beef O'Brady's, but if I didn't, I just said it again. Uh, <laughs> or if I, if I did, I just said it again. If I didn't, now you know. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go pick up this order. Maybe we'll get something else while we're out there. Um, it's just a slow Monday. It is what it is. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Today, they're okay. They're not the worst, but definitely not the best. So let's go pick up that order. I'm picking up for Chris. <laughs> possibility of me getting $80 to slim to them today but we got an order for six dollars for one mile from Tijuana Flats so we're gonna go pick that one up right now Additional like 2. Point something 2.1 miles from Panera so we're gonna go pick up that one now we have our Tijuana flats and hopefully Panera has theirs ready dropped off the first order from Tijuana Flats and that one I think ended up being seven dollars so an extra dollar tip which is always great and now we're heading about 1.8 miles to a furniture store drop off the person works in a furniture store um, and see if we can get maybe one more quick order in before I have to go or stop dashing I don't know, fingers crossed. We'll see though. I'll keep you guys posted. Right, we accepted another order. It's for $6.50 for 4.3 miles. I was super bummed out because there was a pretty decent, um, or this one's from Firehouse, but I was super bummed out because there was a pretty decent order from um, Total Wine that came up, but the mileage was just a little bit too far for the time that I have before I have to go pick up the kiddos from school. So, um, yeah, it just kind of really sucked because it was like $26 for 12 miles, which I would take on any given day, but sadly I won't have enough time to go there and come back and risk, you know, getting stuck in traffic or something like that. So, we're going to take this small order, probably my last order of the day, unless I get an add-on that's super close, and I'll let you guys know the totals after that order. sneak another order in there before I have to go. I'm pushing it very close, um, but it was for $10 for, or it is $10 for 5.8 miles from KFC. Did you want to get 
Okay. All right, so that last order was actually our saving grace to be able to get us to that $80 mark. Um, we are at $86.51 for the day, which is great. I knew it was gonna be a slow day. We made it to 86, so not too bad. I'll take it. We'll take what we can get, right? Uh, I made $17.13 on Uber Eats, $50.75 on DoorDash, so DoorDash was the winner for the day, and then Grubhub came through with an order for $18.63. No orders for Instacart today. Instacart decided it was taking the day off, apparently. So, thank you guys for coming along. I really appreciate all of you guys that have subscribed to me lately. Um, it truly means a lot. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.